Today we'll be taking a look at the Laguna 14 BX bandsaw. The 14 BX bandsaw has a lot of the same great features of the 1412 with a few upgrades. Instead of having the bandsaw on a stand, it is a one piece construction, so it is a little larger than the 1412. They both feature the nice ceramic guards, the big cast iron tables, and easily adjustable, and just overall, both great machines. A few of the differences for the 14BX opposed to the 1412 is the 14BX does have two four inch dust ports instead of one, and it does have a disc brake on the front to stop the blade if you need to abruptly stop the blade when it's moving. It also features upper and lower guards that do have ceramic inserts and they're easily adjustable. You don't need any tools. They all have knobs. Once it's adjusted, you can leave it there or it makes it really easy when switch out the blades and you can quickly adjust them and get back to work. Changing the blades is super easy to open up the doors, just twist these knobs. There's one on the top and bottom. Swing the door open. Open this dust guard and then you can get to the blade. Here are the guides that are easily adjustable on the top and bottom. They are adjusted the same way. So right here on the back, you can go forward and backwards, just loosen it up. It's that easy. Also, turn these, they go in and out. Tighten them back down when you have them adjusted. And just like that, you can adjust the ceramic guides. Like I said, they are the same on the top and bottom. Again, one of the great features of the saw is the nice extruded aluminum fence that makes it really sturdy when you're resawing material. But another great feature about this is not only can you use it vertical, when you're sawing bigger material, you can easily go to the back of it right here, undo two knobs, slide this out, flip it horizontal, and now when you're cutting smaller material, you'll have a short fence. And when you need to flip it back, if you want to go back to resawing, like I said, just two easy knobs, slides out, slides back in, and you're ready to start resawing again. And to adjust the height of your saw on the one side, there's a knob that loosens or tightens. Once you have it loosened, you have this really nice rack and pinion system. It's very smooth, it goes up and down. And again, it goes all the way up to 13 inches high, so that gives you a 12 inch resaw capacity. Once you have it all the way up, 12 inches from your guides down to the cast iron table. Looking at the left side of the saw, here's the viewing window for the tensioner. And right here on the bottom is the wheel that you can set the tension depending on what size blade you're using. This saw can go up to a three quarter inch wide blade. Also here on the left side, you have your on and off buttons and your emergency off button. So when you're working and you need a quick off, hit that, that'll stop your machine. Also with the foot brake on front, that'll stop the blade moving. Also here on the left side of the machine, we opened up the lower door. You see the other nice cast wheel, the disc brake behind it, and the lower ceramic guard right here. This is also where the trunnion adjustment is. If you want to tilt the table, and it will tilt up to 45 degrees forward or seven degrees backwards. Also here on the front, is the pedal for the disc brake. Moving to the front of the saw, here's your other window so you can see the front wheel, so you can track the blade, so when you switch it out, you can make sure it's straight on that wheel. Move down the front of the saw, you have your ceramic guards, your blade, and like I said, it goes up to a three quarter inch blade all the way down to a quarter inch blade, your throw guard, your nice heavy cast iron table, and again on front has the pedal for your disc brake to stop the blade moving. Here on the right side of the saw you have your tensioning lever, so when you're changing the blade down, that's all the way untensioned depending on where you have your wheel. Once you get the blade changed and you have your tension set, lift that up. It tinges your blade. Once you have your guard set, you're ready to start cutting again. 
moving down the saw. Right here, there is an auxiliary plug-in. If you are running a light, which there is two actual mounting positions on this saw for light. It's also nice because you can plug the light into the saw, so you only need one power source coming from the saw to power the saw and the light. Continuing down the right side of the saw, this one is the 115 volt version, which is a one and three quarter horsepower motor. You can also get the same exact saw with a two and a half horsepower motor, which is 220 volt. A couple of the other things on this side of the saw are your two dust ports. You have the upper one that comes from the top cast iron table, so it'll collect the dust right there. And if the saw blade carries it down into the bottom of the body, there's one lower down, so you can have those both hooked up. And the saw does have excellent dust collection for a band saw. The last thing on this side of the saw, it's actually on the back, is the optional wheel kit that allows you to move the saw around. On this version, the wheel it moves is on the back. On the 1412, it's on the front. But since this one has the brake equipped, the wheel's on the back, you press that down, it lifts up the back of the saw, and you're able to move the saw around very easy around your shop. Something else I really like about the saw is the big cast iron table can actually be tilted up to 45 degrees. Or, if you need to go the opposite way, there's a little door back here on the base. You can flip it out of the way and it will tilt seven degrees back towards the saw. One other thing to take into consideration when getting this saw, not only does it have the 12 inch resaw, it does feature a 13 and three quarter throat depth from the blade to the back of the body.